Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. But today we will be having a review. A magnificent review. A review of nothing. Of MLP Origins. Because I have nothing better to do. Everyone's talking about the new MLP Equestria Girls, but I haven't seen that yet, so I can't really do a review on it now, can I? But I am still doing a review on something. I'm doing a review on I Choose You. Now, some people of you, some of you know what I Choose You is. I Choose You is a Pokemon movie that came out a little while back not a little while but a couple months back about um ash and the gang and uh, i just wanted to put my review out there because there was a lot of controversy about oh pikachu spoke it doesn't matter if pikachu spoke because I think the purpose of the making Pikachu speak was to show the psychic connection between Ash and Pikachu and how Ash came to understand Pikachu. Because we all remember when Ash first saw Ho-Ho in the original television series and there are two separate versions of the series. There's one part of the series in a different country where he gets the feather and one where he doesn't. In the English one where it's done by English by a, a US cast they cut out the portion where he retrieves the feather. Now the purpose of the movie was to show the journey to find Ho-Ho. Ho-Ho was said to have been was said to have been the first legendary that he had ever encountered. But nobody knew how he encountered Ho-Ho, how he met Ho-Ho, and how him and Ho-Ho even met in the first place. The purpose of the movie was to shed a little light on it. It also goes back in time to when he first finds Charmander, shows how he met Charmander, and how Charmander just sat on a rock waiting for his trainer to come back. And it also goes back into the past animation of the show. Though it turns out a lot more differently, which I did not like how Charizard, how Charmander became Charizard. But the circumstance of how Charmander was found by Ash stayed the same. He found Charmander on a rock, waiting for its master to return. Now that was like the original one and filled me with joy and pride to have been able to see the movie because the original animation also had that. If you guys haven't seen the first ever series of Pokemon, it was released a long time ago, but you can still find it and you can still watch it if you got a Netflix Go to Netflix and type in Pokemon. They do have the original series. It is a good series. It goes back to when Ash first met Misty and Brock. But the purpose of the movie was to show us that he, Brock and Misty weren't the first ones he met. Later on in the Pokemon generations, we find out that he's known two other people before he even relatively met Brock and Misty or or it was supposed to take place after Brock and Misty left because during the first generation there was a time period of between the movie and between Brock and Misty leaving him and going on their separate ways I'm guessing the purpose of it was so that we had a gap filler there's a lot of gaps in the series that we don't get to see answers for. Now, the purpose of the movie was to fill in those gaps. I'm so glad we filled in the gap 
between after Brock and Misty left Ash. Because after Ash, Brock and Misty went their separate ways. There was this big gap and a big leap in the next series, which confused everyone. Now, I just think they're just trying to fill in the gap in between. But later on in the series, they say they're going to bring those two characters back from the movie into a different series. Now, I hope they bring them back and they still remember him. Because, remember, our memories change after time. But when you meet a friend and you consider that a friend, you never forget a friend's face. Or their or how they acted. Now, the difference between how Ho-Ho and Ash met, I don't know how to put it on, but uh, and I don't even know how to recollect that. But, um, I don't even know what to say about this film. The Pokemon movie was actually really good. The Pokemon movie I Choose You, I would say it was good. Like, all the films before it, they were good. Poke the Pokemon movies, I, I wasn't really a fan of at the beginning of them. But as I got deeper and deeper into the movie, I sort of grew and had a lot more respect as the Pokemon generations evolved. And I had a lot more um, sympathy and a lot more um, respect for the older one because as it changed his outfit changed now the question was how was he paying for all that stuff well like in the pokemon games every time you won a battle you won money as well so this begs to differ was ash um winning money as well as he was winning badges like when he won the badge after he won the badge was there someone who handed it off a couple dollars or is his mom paying for the stuff and gave him a card and said I will be putting money in every month don't waste it which would kind of make sense because his mom loves hearing from him and I'm pretty sure his mom is trying to keep tabs on him now the thing about um, the Pokemon world we don't even know if they have credit cards, they have any type of currency. We have nothing to show for a currency value. We just know there's a police force, there's stuff they can buy, but we never truly see them use money. Now that's something we should be asking the writers to put into the animation to show us what is their currency. Do they have credit cards? Do they have debit cards do they have paper money of value in their world that they use to pay for the super potions it would be really nice to see now i know how the games say there are pokey dollars and we have no idea what they look like what do these pokey dollars look like that's something they can put in the animation to bring some closure to all these questions and I'm steering away from the movie, I should get back on topic. To be brutally honest, out of a scale of 1 to 10, people, well, I am asking myself this question. What would I rate this film? If, and what would you rate this film? Let me know in the comments down below what you would rate it. If you've seen it, what would you rate it? If you haven't seen it, I really recommend watching it. It's a really good movie. I love it. If you don't like Pokemon, you don't like Pokemon. Hey, what you gonna do? There's nothing I can do about that. But out of a scale of 1 to 10 for the story, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. Because the story was wonderful. I loved it because it answered gaps that needed to be answered. Now, 
out of a scale of 1 to 10 how I love the animation, I would give it, I'd say, a 7 out of 10. I love the animation, but I didn't really enjoy how flamboyant it was. Now, out of a scale of 1 to 10, what would I rate the whole movie? I would rate it a 10, a flat out 10, because it was good. Despite the fact that I didn't enjoy the animation as much as I did the story, I give it a 10. For the whole thing, it's a 10. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys go check out this movie. It's a really nice movie, and I hope to see all you in the next video. Bye-bye. And remember, hugs all around. Stupid.